This summer, a giant robotic printer is set to finish the last of 100 3D printed houses in, China, in Texas community. Uh, some homeowners already appreciate how thick the concrete walls keep their living area cool in the brutal Texas heat. Take a look at this. This giant 45 foot wide 3D printer is building the world's largest printed community. That's the claim of Icon, a construction company that is close to finishing the walls of its 100th home in Georgetown, Texas, where its nearly five-ton 3D printer Vulcan is churning out homes at a rapid pace. One layer at a time, Vulcan prints a full house. Uh, it goes from the front of the slab to the back for one layer. And for these homes in particular, after 10 feet of printing in a few days, you have the wall system for a house. After concrete powder, water, sand, and other additives are pumped into the printer, a nozzle spits out layer after layer of the concrete mixture. Our different layers provide this, this kind of corduroy effect, which can actually be really uh, soft and, and, and be a great experience for homeowners. Homeowners Angela Hontas and Lawrence Nurzad said the walls keep the house cool, quiet, and resilient in extreme weather. The concrete floors are very cool, literally and uh, the, the quietness. We're right next to a bypass and you can't hear anything, so it's very quiet. But Nurzad says the thick walls can make Wi-Fi access a challenge. Obviously these are really strong, thick walls and that's what you know provides a lot of value for us as an homeowner and keeps this thing really well insulated in a, in a Texas summer but signal doesn't transfer through these walls very well. So we're still kind of in the hunt for a network situation uh, that, that will work for us given the home's length. The homes in this 3D printed community range from 1,500 to 2,000 square feet, and they're less expensive than traditionally constructed homes, costing anywhere from $450,000 to $600,000. Icon is already looking toward its next venture, and it's shooting for the moon after NASA contracted Icon to develop a construction system capable of building landing pads, shelters, and other structures on the lunar surface.